Welcome to Faith Lifestyles. We are here at Woodenville Lavender. And Tom, so wonderful to have you here with us. Great to have you guys here. This is such a lovely property. Um, I came here the other day to talk with you and strolled around, and it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Love hearing that. Yes. So tell us a little bit about how you got started with a lavender farm. Well, to go back a little ways, um, I grew up in North Idaho in the Moscow Pullman area on a farm, and I got my love for plants there. Always loved gardening and, and plants. Um, folks encouraged us to go to college, so I went uh -huh. off and became a mechanical engineer. <laughs> and mechanical engineers don't really grow lavender. No, that's, that's a far um, stretch from yep. lavender. And a little company came on the University of Idaho campus called Rocket Research. And if you've been in this area in Redmond, they're just two miles south of here. They build small rocket engines, and that sounded really cool. Oh. So I got a job and started on a career, raised our children, and maybe 10, 15 years into that 26 years with that company, decided I wanted my own business. Uh -huh. And wouldn't it be cool to do it around my hobby, plants? I love plants. And uh -huh. my wife and I visited other lavender farms in Washington State and just fell in love with the plant. And then we learned about Woodenville Wine Country and about yeah. 110 wineries and thought lavender and wine and food, it would sure. just go together. So we started this adventure back in 2007. Uh -huh. um, wanted to find a home near the wineries. There's very few homes here in the valley. And I went knocking on doors and I knocked on this house that uh, is just on the other side of this building. Uh, we live okay. here, this is our backyard. Um, and they were ready to sell. They had raised their children here and it sort of felt like it was meant to be. So we bought the house. Uh, this backyard that you can see behind us, that was weeds. A little horse stall and a greasy automotive shop. And oh, we is that right? Well, you have really transformed it. It yep. looks absolutely beautiful. Got started in 2008 and then opened to the public in 2012. And then in 2013, we added private venue rental like tonight mm -hmm. um, that people have weddings and anniversaries and memorials and business meetings here. Yeah. And I took the summer off from my engineering job and never went back. So I've been full time oh, awesome. lavender farmer since 2013. Yes. And you also have your master gardener. Is it... King County yeah. Master Gardener. If yes. you love plants, watch to join that. It's a great program. You learn all about dirts and plants and pests. Um, it's just a fantastic program for people who love gardening. Well, that's awesome. And you also have a little store here that you have quite a few products. Yeah, that was one part that really, as I thought about a plant-based business, if it was vegetables, there's so much work to grow them. And then it's very seasonal. And lavender... Mm -hmm has amazing properties um, that we can fill a store full of our products. We've got about 100 different products with lavender, and that's just a tiny bit of what you can do. Yeah, so I had no idea that lavender is in food, and your ice cream bars are fabulous. Your chocolate is fabulous. I, I had to try them both. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and, um, I mean, you've got soaps, <laughs> and just tell us a couple things that maybe somebody might not recognize that they can use lavender for. Sure. The, the couple obvious ones, our customers come in, um, they love the fragrance. It's super yeah. popular. And then they know that it's calming and relaxing. It can mm -hmm. help you sleep at night. It can help you with headaches. Um, it's, it is good. Th I would say the one you mentioned, which is food. Most people in the United States, it's not super popular. Mm -hmm. But if done right, it's fantastic in food. It's meant to be like this subtle secondary flavor that oh, okay. you pick up like on the finish. And my wife was trying it in everything one year. And one year she put it in zucchini <laughs> bread. Oh. And people s said it was the best zucchini bread ever, but they couldn't quite tell what it was. But I know it, it was the lavender. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. So cooking is fantastic. Awesome. Well, I know that uh, when I came and talked with you that I was using lavender as a bun spray for mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And boy, that sure smells a lot better than uh, mosquito <laughs> repellent. So, yeah, yeah, a lot well, of uses. One of my store clicks just got fr back from the Wonderland Trail around Mount Rainier. Seven days backpacking. And if you've been out in the woods around Mount Rainier, the mosquitoes are aggressive and the flies. And they had um, lavender products there and their friends didn't. They said they saw a dramatic difference between applying a lavender lotion and other products. Oh, so it wow. really does work with insects. Wow. Yeah. And so where can people find you and tell us a little bit about your hours and how people can come stroll your garden? Sure. Um, we're open, we do, we're seasonal in the summer, uh, May through September. We're open Wednesday through Sunday from 10 to four. And then we stay open weekends year-round, okay. same thing, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 4. If you can't make it to the farm, most of our products are available online at woodenvillelavender.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We are really enjoying your property here, and I hope the gals have a chance to go stroll the gardens, too. So. Super. We're yes. thrilled to have you. If anybody has a need for a wedding or private event, come see us. Definitely. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you.